Hello, everyone. Welcome to the June favorites video. While compiling the stuff I was going to put in this video, I thought, holy crap, it's June. Uh, where did June go? Um, I feel like yesterday I was filming the May favorites and putting that up. Um, well, it's the end of June, almost July, and I have a batch of new stuff for you. So, it's been a very exciting month. It's been a very long month, um, slash short, if you guys know what I mean. So, the first thing is... I got new lights to go around this back window over here. And they are Room Essentials Weather Resistance Outdoor and Indoor Use. 25 lights. They look, they're just the regular little circular bulb lights. And I think they're really cool. Um, they're kind of beachy, kind of outside -y, and I just thought that they would be awesome to hang in that back window. So that is a favorite for me. The other thing that I've been absolutely obsessed with this month is I got it from Yankee Candle, and we all know I love my candles, and it is the candle warmer. Um, it's kind of crisscross pattern. The lid comes off inside um, is a little heater, and all you do is you put this little ceramic lid on, you plug this in, hit the little switch, and it heats up, and you put one of these little guys in there, plop it in like that, and it melts. And it's a candle wax melter, and the scents for these are amazing. This is the Coconut and Vanilla Bean. Now, I did go a little nuts at the store, I'm not going to lie. This is only half of what I bought. Um, but since it's a favorites video, I thought I would just put my favorite scents in. So, the... I didn't even get all of them. This is what happens when you leave me in a candle store. Sorry. This is what happens when you leave me in a candle store, guys. Um, I got like 30 of these. Because they were on sale. Um, but this is... Oh my god, it's like the beach in a candle. Um, it's Luau Party. I also got... The Ocean Star, which smells very ocean-esque, kind of salty. I got Sea Coral, ocean theme here. Um, I got Blueberry, because my favorite scent is actually the Yankee Candle Blueberry Scone, which was discontinued, so I figured this is the closest. Um, I got Coconut Bay, which is heavenly. And I also got... Pineapple Paradise, but not even the best part of the day was, because I happened to mention that I'm obsessed with the blueberry scone flavor and that I was so sad they continued it, the lady went in back, love her, and found me three, the last three of the blueberry scone candle wax melts. Anyone who likes blueberry scone, leave a comment below because I'm obsessed with it and I was like totally gutted that they decided to discontinue it. Um, so now I have three of these. And I also got two votives, um, which are up on this side. Um, but I was so excited, so happy. Um, very dear to me, this scent. Um, so I was, it had to make the list. Um, third thing is, I've had this for a really long time, and I've just kind of started getting back into it, is my Nintendo DS. I used to be a really big Nintendo um, player, whether it was the Super Nintendo, yes, I'm so dating myself, I had one of those when I was like five, I got a Super Nintendo for Christmas, um, I've had everything, I've had a Super Nintendo, I've had an N64, I've had the original Game Boy, the Pocket Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and now I have... The was the Nintendo DS, and it flips up, and you turn it on. You flip the little switch. Woo! 
And the game in it right now is Super Mario 64 DS, which those of you who have a Nintendo DS will know that that is the one of the first Mario games that came out on it was Super Mario um, 64. Um, it is the obviously this version, so it is a little different. But I've been determined to get all those stars and beat Bowser. And it comes in a cute little blue case with a little clippy. And I have a few other games. I have the regular Super Nintendo. I have Mario Kart. See, there's a theme here. Um, but I'm super excited um, to get this kind of back in my repertoire. Um, I usually play it at night when I'm trying to go to bed or if I'm really, really bored, which has been kind of a lot lately because uh, I'm having surgery next week. Well, this week now. Um, so this will be kind of my buddy. Now, someone asked me what my favorite camera to use for vlogging. For these videos, I use a Canon or a Canon PowerShot S400, I believe, and I love it. For vlogging, though, obviously you can't take a big camera around. This is my vlogging camera, and it deserves a spot on this month's favorite because I have literally been living with this in my pocket and purse. And it is the Nikon Coolpix S3 100. I don't know if they sell these in stores. I know you can buy them online. Um, I was really, really lucky and got this in store. And this takes really good picture and also really decent video. But for sit-down videos, I thought a Canon would be better. Um, but I still love, I'm obsessed with this camera. It's what I vlog on. So if you guys watch my vlogging channel, I'll put the link below. Um, this is what it's shot on, and it is really good. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, someone asked me who is interested in this stuff. Now, for makeup, I only have one thing, and you're going to think it's really silly. It's chapstick. Um, it's chapstick and it's cake batter, and I'm obsessed with it. But that is the only makeup product I bought this month that you haven't seen in either last month's video or my other videos. Um, this is the only thing that's new since then. But I really, really love it. Now, I do have a few other favorites. Um, Book-wise, I have had this for a while. And for those of you who know me, um, I'm a rock climber. I used to rock climb. So I picked up, the, my friend actually knows who you are if you're watching. Um, my friend got me this book about four years ago when she went away in a conference because this man, Aaron Ralston, was speaking and he actually signed it. So I'm super, super stoked. But I actually just had the time to sit down and read it. And it's called Between a Rock and a Hard Place. And I'm very excited. And if you don't know the story, he was an adventure mountain climber and got his arm caught in a boulder and ended up having to amputate his own arm to save himself. And uh, they made a movie out of it. It's called 127 Minutes, which is also an amazing movie. I have it. Um... But Between a Rock and a Hard Place has become one of my favorite books for this month. I'm on page 200 right now, and I'm super excited to finish it. And that's definitely one of the books on the favorites. The other three books, which I'm super excited to start, I haven't started them yet, but I thought that they would work because I've read some chapters. Um, are the Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I have the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, and the Titan's Curse. And these three books, um, I'm very excited. I used to be convinced that I was going to be an actual historian when I was little, besides a marine biologist. I was convinced I was going to be a historian. Um, and I got really, really into mythology, Greek, and all that other stuff. So these books are all about demigods and kind of Olympus. So I picked those up, and I'm really excited to start reading those. So keep an eye out. There might be reviews on them in other videos. So keep an eye out. I got this shirt, and this totally deserves a spot on my favorites. It is a faded shirt, so we'll see how this goes.
Like, I can't even tell. Okay, there we go. And it says, I heart sharks. With a little chomp out of the heart. And I couldn't say no to this shirt. It was one of those things where I was like, do I really need it? No. But is it a favorite of mine? Yes. I love sharks. I always have. Um, I do have some Shark Week t-shirts that are going to be pulled out um, very shortly for Shark Week. So excited. There's like seven days left. But this shirt I had to buy. I just had to. Um, now, I'm a big sweatpants person. I, If I can be in sweatpants or pajama bottoms, I will. Um, pretty much the first thing I do when I come home from work is throw on pajama bottoms. So... Since I'm going to be home for a little bit because of the surgery, I decided, Casey, you need some new pajamas. And they are Harry Potter Gryffindor. Gotta have Gryffindor. Um, and it has the Gryffindor, um, Badger Gryffindor crest. And the best thing about it that I think is that they have pockets, which are like, Because... I hate pants without pockets. I just do. It doesn't work. You can't put things in it. You can't put your cell phone in it. So what's the point? Um, two other things that I do not have with me because they're in my car um, that I want to talk to you about. The first thing is I just discovered Megan and Liz. They are twins who are stationed in Nashville, Tennessee. They do kind of country music. It's uh, really good. Um, I will put a picture up here, or here, whichever, um, with their EP. It's called The Simple Life. It's seven songs, and I have desperately become obsessed with it, and it's pretty much all I play in my car when I'm driving anywhere, because I just never get bored of it. TV show-wise, I have become obsessed with Pretty Little Liars. I was really late to jump on the bandwagon. And Pretty Little Liars has definitely got me wondering what's going on, what the big turn is. I have read some of the books. Um, and they're a little different, so I'm kind of interested to see how they tie now that they're in the sixth season. And this is the last season that they have announced. Um, we do know it's last season. So I'm kind of wondering how they're going to tie in the books and those twists and turns with the season um it's kind of interesting to me and I've definitely become obsessed with that show I watch it whenever it's on and whenever it comes on Netflix I usually click on it so it's a great show well those are my favorites for the month I know there wasn't very many and I know they weren't very exciting but they're all the things I've loved, all the books I've read, the clothes I've bought that I really love, the games I've played that I love. So if you like this video, please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit the like and thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe wherever that button is. And leave a comment. I would love to know what you want to see. If you have any ideas, tell me because... You never know. Um, I will also put the links to my social media sites, all of them, down below. I only have Instagram and Twitter, um, so those will be down below. And I hope you guys have a very safe week, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye, guys.